Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really exciting to dive into. I'm talking about the incredible advancements of the Shad PS4 emulator. For those of you who've been following the emulation scene or dreaming of playing Bloodborne on PC, this emulator is making that dream a reality, and the progress is nothing short of amazing. Not too long ago, trying to emulate Bloodborne was a frustrating experience. One of the biggest issues was the lighting it was way off, with extremely strong and oversaturated lights that just took you out of the immersion. But now, the team behind Shad PS4 has really stepped up. With the latest updates, we're seeing a dramatic improvement in how lighting is rendered, bringing it much closer to the original PS4 experience. The shadows, reflections, and overall visual fidelity are so much better now, making the game not only playable, but genuinely enjoyable on PC. But that's not all performance-wise. Things are also improving steadily. Frame rates are getting more stable, and the overall gameplay experience is starting to feel a lot smoother, even on low-range setups like mine. So, if you've been holding off on emulating Bloodborne, now might be the time to give it another shot. We're inching closer and closer to perfection with every update. Stick around as I dive into the current build, showcase some gameplay, and compare it to earlier versions. You won't want to miss the difference. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like so you can stay updated with all the latest emulator news, tips, and performance guides. All right, let's get started. In the previous version of the emulator, as you can see, the lighting was a real issue. The effects were overly strong and saturated, which completely ruined the immersion that makes Bloodborne such a visually striking game. This wasn't just a small annoyance, it impacted the entire atmosphere. Those haunting environments felt off, and for many of us trying to emulate the game on PC, it broke the experience. For those of you with setups like mine running on low-tier hardware like a GTX 1660 Ti, it was even tougher to get the game running smoothly. To compensate, we had to rely on a 720p resolution patch, which reduced the amount of RAM and VRAM the game required just to make it somewhat playable. And on top of that, we had to install a bunch of mods to tweak the performance, which, honestly, didn't always work out as expected. It was a bit of a balancing act between visual quality and keeping the game from becoming a slideshow. But despite all those compromises, the game still didn't feel like the true Bloodborne experience that we wanted on PC. The harsh lighting and performance issues took a toll on the gameplay, making it clear that the emulator had a long way to go. Thankfully, with the latest updates to the Shad PS4 emulator, a lot of these issues are finally being addressed. The lighting has been significantly improved, bringing us closer to the original game's tone. And while some of us might still need to use performance tweaks here and there, the overall experience is getting much more stable.